Hello there, but today we're doing a very simple, I don't know, it's gonna be simple, but I hope it's gonna be short enough for you to understand. We're gonna use two tools inside Twitter, as you read the titles, I'm gonna show you how you can use them if you have never heard about them. It's basically a pen tool in Twitter, and it's very hard to use, it usually takes time to learn how to use that, so here we go, let's uh, get into this right now. So, we have uh, three shapes here. Uh, those three shapes, as you notice, they're pretty much... Yeah, they're kind of created a little bit uh, different. So, uh, in Krita, you could create shapes and you could create um, selections. First, we're going to take a look at the shapes. So, this shape here is a square. We have green outline and the filling idea, well, technically, is there's no filling inside, so it's like transparent. We have a circle, which is fully all the circle, um, except yellow circle, and we have the triangle over there. I'll create these shapes. Start small, and with time, you can, you know, obviously put more, try to, you know, recreate different shapes. Uh, shapes are important, and the tool for that is, uh, is curve, is the basic curve tool that allows you to maneuver around different um, edges, which are obviously hard to usually to create now these shapes are very simple i'm just going to lower the, this layer with the shapes and create a new layer on top and I'm, I'm going to try to repeat them again start small don't worry about it now uh, there's a couple of stuff that you need to know before this and one of them is the main one is to be honest with you, is the two options if you want to use if you want to have full control all of your tool over here and any other tool uh, for this matter is to have the two options open the two options you can enter from settings dockers and then two options and it will pop up somewhere on your screen so you can you know put it, like, put it anywhere you like on your uh, working space over here mine's over here so i have to move my the cam somewhere else and the moment i select a tool from here I will have two options for that too. So now I'm on the basic curve tool, which uh, gives me a couple of options, as you see. One of them is the fill. Now, right now for me, the fill is like to say not fill, the outline to be the brush, and the others are uh, these here, which I usually don't touch, uh, but you can mess with them if you want to. The first two are seconds that you need to take care of, is the fill and the outline so if you want to recreate this shape over here obviously you need to examine the shape so it's a green outline with no fill inside so uh, I'm just gonna press to have no fill and the outline to be the brush now you can either set this to have no fill, uh, no outline sorry or to have the brush with the background color or just the brush. Uh, what this does, the br the brush with the background color, it will take this second color over here. It will not take the first color that you have here. Um, so I'm just pass by my window. Mm, okay. So the color here is green, so I'm gonna change the first color to be, I guess this green works fine. And obviously the outline will be the brush. Now, when it says the brush, you have to have, uh, uh, in mind that it will take the options of the brush that you have selected here. Now my brush in, in this case is this brush and the size of this brush right now is this size over here. We can increase the size or decrease the size. So I can increase the size to be 10-ish or 8 or 10 or 11, I don't know. And I can start making the shape. The way you work with the fill tool is you basically make points and you connect those points to make a shape. There we go. So I'm gonna start my first point over here. Second point probably over here. As you notice, it's hard to make a proper line. Now I know in Photoshop, if you hold Shift on the keyboard, you can make uh, straight lines. Now if you make a mistake, and usually I say if you make a mistake along the way, if this is your shape so far, and you obviously it's not the shape that you want, uh, you can click the right button of your mouse a couple of times in order to get to the point you want to start again now but let's say i already made a mistake how to deselect this point and put it somewhere else you can just simply click on the port itself deselect that and now 
By the way, I'm using only the middle button. I think the middle. I'm using the mouse in general for this. So the middle button of the mouse will help you navigate around the uh, the canvas, um, like this. And we're using the left button of the mouse to create the points, and with the right button of the mouse, you can remove those points. But if it's the first point, you have to click on the point itself. Great. So I'm just gonna try to make the same shape, I guess. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> there we go, it's, it's, it's uh, something the same. Nice. So now how to make this shape? It's very easy actually. If you look at your other tools, you will have a tool which is the shape with the circle. So uh, you can pretty much do this. Now for this tool, uh, if you look at the two options, you have the fill to be the foreground. The foreground is your first call over here. The outline, there is no outline if you notice that. So if I want to make the perfect um, circle, I can just hold shift. And I can make the perfect circle, almost. Like that. Now it's not aligned with the circle, so I can now take this selection over here, which is again the circle selection, and I can just select this. I can come up here to the transform tool and I can position this around here and I can press enter. Now my selection stays. In order to deselect your selections, you just go to select and then deselect and then there we go. Now this one's a bit different. This one has a fill and an outline. So how to get that? We can still use the um the curve, the basic curve tool. Oh, we can use this one. I'm going to use the basic curve tool because that's the idea of, the, of this video to use the, the basic curve tool. Uh, so I'm just going to say fill with this color and take the brush options that I have here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to try my best to you know, make a shape. It was this one. And uh, there we go. This is done. Now, this is very simple. As I said, start with simple shapes in order to learn how the tool works. So far, we uh, we learned that the tool uh, makes a shape once we collect all of the points. Now, what happens though when we have, if I hide these, when we have a little bit of different shape, where it's not just one shape, it's a one big shape with different surfaces on that shape. Well, I'm going to create a layer over here. So what I can do is to really to explain the curve tool is it does make curves. I didn't show you how you can make those curves. Here we go. Here ha we have a curve here. Now once you press your first point, you get a handle of that point. You have you have a line coming out of that point. And the moment you press on your next point, you have another line coming out. But what you have to like make a curve. Uh, you can make a curve, right? If you click on your next point and you hold your left button, the button that you click with, with, and you uh, push, you pull, you push, you pull a handle out of that, uh, out of that point that you have here, and you make this weird um, curve. Now I say it's a weird curve, but the more the more you you pull, the more the the curvier it gets, the more you less or you push on this side on this side the the sh the direction of the curve kind of shifts and you create something like this create something like this and this and this and this now let's say this is the shape you want to make you don't want to close here you want, you need to end your shape over here how you end your shape simply simply click enter and it will make this shape now this is not ideal why? Because let's say if you remove the, the foreground, if you have no fill, but you have only the outline. Now if I hit the uh, control and Z, if I try to uh, you know, trace this, I can start by the ear. And I'll try to make a very rough uh, shape of this. Bear with me. Right here. And maybe around here. And maybe maybe around here. I, I didn't do that properly. And here I want to stop. Right, it's not ideal, but I, this is the shape I want to get. So here I can add. I can start adding the tail. For example, this is just a bad example. This is the example I'm going for. 
and if I want to stop my shape, if I want to have this shape so far, I can still click enter, but it, we won't have the same as the, as before. Right now, we are only uh, going to see the lines that we have because we set up this to, to have no fill and to have only the line, the outline. In this case, this is the shape that we're going to get. And from here, I can just continue my shape. And this is the the beauty to use the curve tool. The exact same tool is the uh, basic curve selection tool. Well, what this tool does, it makes selections on the same principle. You just make points and you can make different um, you know, angles with these points. And if I click enter now, um, the selection will be basically, it will connect this last point with the first point. So uh, this is the downfall of this. And once I did connect the points, if I, when I connect the points, I will make the shape I want. This is how we use the, uh, the curve tool in general and obviously the other tools here. The idea is to remember that all the tools that you have here, all of them have two options that you can play with and adjust in the way that you you would like to use them, right? So remember this, and uh, you have to practice with this tool. There's no other way. It's basically the pen tool in any other program that you will be using in the future. You have this in Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects. Uh, even uh, probably you have heard people say rotoscopy, even in uh, video editing programs as um, Premiere. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, happy Sunday, happy Monday. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. But uh, yeah, stay healthy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.